Hey everybody, Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramble, back again, it's coming from outside, doing a little bit of some stuff here and there. Today, the last one, I know a lot of you have been asking, why are you doing these damn wine reviews? Well, because I want to, but um, just been on a wine kick for whatever the reason. But anyway, uh, there will be more wine reviews down the road, but a wine review today, of course it is a ramble, uh, we're looking at Colorossi Blush. 10 and a half, 10.5 or 10 and a half percent ABV from the call. Now, they listed as a red wine and part of their, if you go to their website, callrossi.com and you look at the list of wines, they put it under their red, which I guess from what the flavors that they have is some raspberries and some cherries in that wine jug right over here. This is a 1.5 liter bottle that I picked up the other day at um, at Brewer's Cash Saver. Paid uh, six bucks for six six uh, dollars and whatever amount of cents plus tax came up to seven something and change. So, so I'm just gonna just paint off some stuff right now online. But anyway, back to the wine, folks. This is what the wine looks like. Nice, nice little look to it here. Kind of can almost could look at it, possibly go as a, maybe a Zinfandel, possibly. Fresh strawberries, sweet cherries. This is more of a summer wine, but again, for, for the price I got it. And uh, I know I have, I've been meaning to do a Colorado review of this for some time now. Again, some of these wines I've had already, but kind of forgot and neglected it. For years, gone got into the whole beer thing, and most of the wines I tend to drink are Cabernets, you know, more semi-dry, like a Cabernet, like a Shiraz. But as of recently, I have been trying more of the sweeter, more flavorful reds that has a bit of a sweetness to it. They're not dry, but a bit more sweet. Uh, I had the Rionini Lombrusco, another wine I had years ago growing up as a kid, you know, Sunday dinners at home with, uh, with the family holiday dinners, get-togethers. Um, um, that sweet uh, red wine, the Ta Lake County Taylor wines, of course, Colorossi's Paisano, another wine you can pair with anything. And uh, I think that most, and if you see my last video, good. See my last video, as I said, um, most of the wines people want nowadays are looking for. Um, obviously, everybody has their personal preference and what they want. You know, like I said, me, I like Cabernets. I like more, a little more drier. Some of you like their wines a little sweeter. Whites that are also very dry. Also, some whites that are very sweet. Whichever. But I think you want many. And I think this is gone maybe forever. Um, are looking for things that they can pair with food wise with just about anything. Uh, and with this blush here, uh, I know there's a recipe um, that you can pair it with mac and cheese or maybe with a soup. I'm thinking more of a salad, like a chef salad will go good with this. But um, you, you, um, that's what this would pair. But I think that's what people want. is like, hey, I can eat this with some fish. I can eat this with chicken. I can eat this with hot wings. Um, anything. They can go with it. Um, Definitely getting a taste of uh, some strawberries in this. It's a table wine, so but table wines tend to be a little bit more higher or lower in ABV. Now, but I figured this was going to be a little bit lower because of the style and what it was. Um, that would be under around nine, but or maybe eight percent, like the last one I did from them. Oh, well, uh, trying to see is there sangria? I believe is about nine percent. I could be wrong. Another one I've had from Carl Rossi as well. Um, I also had their Smooth Red the other day from the, their other size bottle, their Smooth Red, and they have another uh, couple other styles, a Sangria, and one of their other, not the size bottle here, but it's another, I guess you could say the 75 milliliter uh, bottle that they, that they put out. This is one of the, of the jug wines, but this is one of the smaller jugs. It's 1.5 liter, and then you have a, um, and you have, I think, a, a, a three liter and, um, and then you have the four liter jug, which is the big boy jug that you probably see at the stores. So
Very crisp, very enjoyable. Yes, this is a more summer wine, I would say, but this is not something I can, I can, I, yeah, I can drink it, you know, now as it's getting colder. But this is more summery. Sitting outside by the pool with friends, you know, and sipping on this, and you know, enjoying your family and friends, and that's what wine should be about, like good conversation. Now, someone made a post a, a comment. On my last one, what would I rather have in the last couple of years if I had to choose one or the other? Like I said, I do enjoy beer, folks, and yes, I will be doing more beer reviews. Just again, something I've just been on a wine kick for whatever. But um, maybe for health reasons, why I've been drinking a lot of wine, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe more bang for the buck. I guess uh, with wine, you know. I can share with people, and I've shared this wine with, uh, well, other styles of wine that I've shared, you know, with family members or my significant other's family, and I just sipped on and said, okay, I got, you know, got more bang than beer, and, um, for it, so, uh, I, I, just for whatever reason, I probably lean more towards wine as I get older, 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 I'm only 42, but be 43 next January, proud Aquarius, yes, um, uh, but, yeah, I probably more lean towards a, a bottle of wine. My final days is like, hey, make sure to order all the good shit, all the good wine, and make sure to, uh, um, that you, you say a toast to me and burn my, of course, I say burn me. I don't want to be buried, burned. A lot cheaper, by the way, um, uh, cremation. But anyhow, um, back to the story of Mr. Colorassi. Uh, he was a salesman, Carlos Charles Rossi, or Carlos Rossi. He was a salesman for Ian J. Gallo, and in around uh, 1975, he had picked up he picked up a jug of a very famous wine, and uh, and it was uh, some mountain uh, flavored wine uh, became very popular, and. Um, now, uh, most of his wines are, are extremely you known worldwide, and many of them get a sort of bad reputation because of its, uh, because of the costs, you know, and what it, what it is, how people, you know, feel they, these are cheap, you know, bottom shelf wines, but say what you will about them, but they, they're wines that I think none of, many of us will never get tired of. Um, you know, of course, his, his motto is, hey, you know, I love talking about my wine, I'd rather drink it, but, you know, why pay? If you can taste the difference, why pay the difference? You know, wine should be enjoyed by everybody. It shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be having to be, you know, held on or to be for the up and echelon of folks. You know, same with beer. You know, wine should be enjoyed. Wine has been around forever as beer, and should be had and savored amongst friends. Good conversation starter. So, the Pisano, the Pisano is their more popular brand. I buy it from time to time. I buy them about a good 60% of the time uh, just to have them around the house uh, for me. I can't get my significant other. She more likes sangria. And I bought a bottle that called Rossi Sangria. Hopefully she'll have, sip on it before I get my hands on it. But um, Their Cabernet, uh, their Chianti, there's the Rhine, Rin, Rhine, the Blush, what I'm having right now. Then there's the Moscato Sangria, my friend, dear friend Rachel. Wilson um, had her birthday recently. Someone gave her a big jug of a Moscato sangria, and uh, she's enjoying it. And uh, you know, I bought her a bottle of wine too, so I'll probably be buying. And she also, we were exchanging some pictures, and she really dig that that uh, sweet, uh, the the smooth red by Colorado. And I said, hey, that, it was pretty good. And that was my second time having that wine, and it, it went went nice with a uh, nice. We're nice with this nice little, um, um, what was I having? I, I stopped at a store and I got, bought me a Philly cheesesteak and, um, and I picked that up on the way and yeah, it went very well with that cheesesteak. Very good. Um, yeah, very refreshing, very enjoyable wine. Nothing, I mean, all their products they put out. Um, and that's a little E&J Gallo of wine, family wines, you know, they, they have called Rossi, Liberty Creek, um, to name a few that are all, maybe, I think Tisdale's also in that group with them. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm 
but there's a list of wines that are very highly priced and wines that are very meaty are well priced or more economical so myself and you can buy on any given time when we're not going to break the bank so um yeah, people tend to be very, you know, put their, their nose up in the air with, on wines like this and say, oh, this is junk. I said, no, I don't think it is. I think it's just as good, if not b b better than, than any wine put together. I think they they could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. And you don't be surprised. When you go to a lot of these restaurants, you would think they would be serving all the top stuff, you know. But it was like when it, with the Liberty Creek I did, you know, um, they were pouring Liberty Creek wines at um, at, the, at the casino. Um, I was at the Beauvage for a seat of wine uh, before, and they were, we had they had Liberty Creek. They had uh, another brand of wine, I think Glen Ellen wines that are very well priced. You know, not going to hurt your wallet. You know, nine to eight maybe. I know the Liberty Creek from some places runs between six to eight dollars. Not bad for their. Um, 1.5 liter uh, bottle of wines. Um, same with uh, Glen Ellen. Same with even the Oakleaf brand of wines that Walmart sells, or the Kirkland brands of wines. And I'm sure they got a vineyard making them, but they're just as good, can stand alone. And they'll be pouring and like, you know, I thought we had like the top level stuff, you know, but they'll be serving this. And so, yeah, I'm going to take a little hit of this. Uh, this is a very good summer wine, as I said earlier. I'm, not, I'm repetitive at times. Sorry, but hey. My channel rainbow on 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 so very good and i'm gonna give this one a give this about b about a b so i would say 8.1 8.2 so that'll be a b for the colorasi blush oh, better bottle the blush colorasi john henderson pierre the beer ramble wine ramble as well so you know keep on watching as always cheers combo rossi blush 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 for me you want blush for me blush for you blush blush blush